Assalamu alaikum bismillahir rahmanir rahim today we will focus on the life of Suleiman alayhi salatu wassalam and his teaching king Suleiman alayhi salatu wassalam son of Daud alayhi salatu wassalam knows as Solomon and people know him through the story of Solomon and Sheba the the story of um, uh, Malka Saba or the queen Saba but there is much more than that story Suleiman alayhi salatu wassalam is obviously one of the mightiest messengers as well as one of the mightiest kings of his time he has control over uh, many living creatures animals uh, birds invisible beings and human beings are under his control he is the one who is a patron of uh, uh, arts and sculpture and many other kind of things he is the one who has uh, uh, the ability to communicate with the birds as well but well, one of the most important thing that is related with him despite all, you know along with all his grandeur all his majesty is his humility and this becomes very clear when uh, quran in surah an-naml mentions an incident where queen sheba seems to be frightened with the advancement of the forces of solomon and is telling her courtiers that uh, now the forces of the solomons are approaching fast we should take certain precaution because whenever the marching forces or the victorious forces have entered into any city they have not only brought devastation but they have also created uh, humiliation for the 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 people of that particular town and in that kind of situation in that kind of chaotic situation comes the response from uh, Suleiman alayhi salatu wasalam who says inna hu min Suleiman inna hu bismillahir rahmanir rahim indeed i am a king mighty king solomon but uh, i'm bound by the laws and by the guidance of the one who is merciful and mercy giving in other words this was the motive and this was the motto of not only king solomon but prophet solomon and all other prophets that they are all bound by the divine guidance and by the divine laws he was a wise man he was the one who ensured stability in his own town his own country he was the one who harnessed the forces of nature he is the one who brought a lot of developments also and he was the one who uh, basically created a, a, a an empire a, a, a kind of civilization that was unmatched in his his time but uh, despite all this uh, kind of grandeur and majesty and this pomp and show he was a humble person and he uh, addressed to the issues and to the concerns of the ordinary people in such a manner that they remain reconciled to the ideas of the divine guidance he never deviated from those paths and he never uh, you know did anything that would uh, violate the principles of allah subhanahu wa ta'ala there are many stories that are associated with sulaiman alayhi salatu wassalam but they are not part of the quran they are part of the of uh, what you call the biblical uh f- f- fables and f- biblical stories and certainly uh, they are here say more than an accurate understanding of what his character was what his character is well defined in the quran that he uh, was bound by the laws of allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and he always followed those laws in all aspects of his life there is also a an incident that is mentioned in the, the quran about uh, the two angels harut and marut uh, who are attributed to be teaching magic to the people in fact uh, uh, that uh, description uh, has been often miscommunicated because what the quran is telling us that they were warning people of the magic and uh, the the illusions of magic they were not the ones who were teaching magics they were the ones who were warning people of the illusions of magic and they were saying that uh, this magic that they are being taught is uh, 
a magic that basically hurts their own family relationship and their own uh, life. So it was a warning more than anything else. And this is something that also uh, is mentioned in relation to Suleiman alayhi salatu was salam. Uh, Suleiman alayhi salatu was salam uh, was, uh, uh, you know, a well-trained soldier and his uh, leadership was well established and uh, his leadership was uh, was uh, accepted by the people around him, and uh, through uh, the the grandeur and the and the majesty, uh, his humility convinced many people that uh, he is the true messenger of God. And when Queen Sheba accepted Islam and, and accepted the fold of the faith, it was that humility that impressed us her most. Aqul qawli haza wa Enjoyed the video? Please subscribe to our channel.